it's hard not to wax philosophical about crayons. The average North American kid uses 730 of them by the age of 10. An American chemical company invented crayons in 1903. It took the basic wax crayon it already made for marking crates and barrels and came up with a non-toxic version. Yellow-orange crayons are made from a variety of waxes, primarily paraffin, which is ideal because paraffin itself is already yellow-orange. If new colors of crayons are invented, then this will be a problem. The wax is melted until it goes from looking kind of buttery to straight-up unappetizing. Then, a secret powder is added to the crayon as we question the competency of Rose Art, because here we are showing their supposedly secret powder to our cameras. Yellow and red are blended into the wax, creating the perfect blend for yellow-orange crayons. These colors here will never be crayons, so they have been censored to maintain your viewing enjoyment. The wax is blended until it solidifies and is pumped into a device called a crayonatizer. It injects the wax into crayon-shaped molds and douses them with water to harden the wax. We lost the footage of this segment, so please enjoy this footage of Mars. Oh my god, they're destroying Mars. Those animals. The machine carefully and delicately vomits the crayons onto a conveyor belt. One by one, they file into the grooves of the world's coolest gun, the X-12 Mega Revolver. This is the same gun that was used to assassinate Presidents James Garfield and William McKinley at the same time. The gun's action is coincidentally perfect for adhering the labels to the crayons. The crayons goose step their way across the assembly line, fall onto a conveyor belt, and land in a box. Workers sort the yellow-orange crayons and unrelated colored wax failures into their respective hoppers. The yellow-orange crayons are sorted into their respective boxes, while the non-crayon-related colored wax is sorted, so that the nearby recycling center will have an easier time throwing it away. Crayons are typically shipped in boxes with missing children's pictures on them. So far, this effort has found zero missing children.